Californian surfers in the 1960s are credited with a solution as to what to do when there is no surf. Simple. You just put a small surfboard onto a pair of roller skate wheels and suddenly you've got the worldwide craze of skateboarding. Now, 30 years later, along come these three university friends. They wanted a source of income to fund their studies, so started inventing. Oliver McLeod Smith and Simon King are medical students. James Fisher dropped out of his economics course to market this invention full time. They looked at something already successful and tried to make it better. So move over skateboard and hello snakeboard. So called because the twisting action needed is similar to the slithering motion of a snake. Now what they've done is essentially each pair of wheels from a conventional skateboard has been given its own platform here on the snake board. Each platform is connected with a bar. But what's unique and patented is this remarkable swiveling action of each platform that gives it the extraordinary maneuverability. That is, in the hands of experts. Heels, toes, heels, toes. That's a good question. It's, uh, it depends on the skill of the person who's getting onto it. Um, however, usually it ranges between five minutes and probably a day, two days. This car park should be a reasonably safe place to pick up a few pointers. Those in the know certainly make it look as though it's not too difficult. It's easy. Yeah. Sweet. Okay, I'll believe you. Basically, it's momentum. You're building up momentum through a body movement and um, coordinating your feet to, to that movement. Um, basically, your toes together, push your body in that direction, heels together, push your body in that direction, and then you're coordinating that movement by joining the two movements together. Once you're in that position, change back to your toes together and move in that direction. <coughs> okay, now you've got to go away and let me do it in private. Those that can master it seem capable of the impossible. You can uh, go uphill on it. Uh, it just takes the skateboard into areas it hasn't been before. By zigzagging, I'm told you can use your momentum to climb a gradient. Each board can also be fine-tuned for its intended use, speed skating, ramp or tricks, by changing the wheels and snap changing the suspension pads that control the rocking ability, the lean rider gets. Speed skating uses soft pads for maximum lean and the stiff black ones for beginners. What's more, the super reinforced nylon bar is claimed to have a three-ton braking strain for maximal strength, it's sometimes needed. So much for learning it in five minutes to a day. At last, I was getting the truth from 17-year-old Ashley Morgan. Uh, after a week or so, then you, you get used to it after one, yeah. A week? I didn't have a week. You start moving and you start your tricks. You're clearly the most skilled at it, <clears throat> at the snake board of this group here. What's your secret? I don't know. Maybe I push myself harder than the others. You know, more, more, I mean, I have more, more spirit or something like that. I don't know. More spirit, that's yeah. what missing. <laughs> should, should get At 47, Roger Anderson was there to prove that I couldn't use advancing age as a face-saving excuse. And despite knowing the first prototype was only built two to three years ago, I couldn't lose the uncharitable thought that Hamish Jones had probably spent most of his seven years practicing for this day of youthful triumph. If I couldn't join them, I'd admit defeat. 
and I had a good idea of just what type of spirit I was going to need after a day like today. Still to come. The cashless society.